Before the court this term, specifically on October the 31st, will be the case Florida versus Jardine. This case involves whether an officer who brings a narcotics detection dog to someone's front door has he violated the Fourth Amendment by not getting a warrant first. Um, what had happened is the following. Florida police got an anonymous tip that marijuana was being grown in Mr. Jardine's house. They observed the house for a brief amount of time and then they had a canine officer bring his narcotic detection dog, Frankie, to the individual's first home. Frankie is our first very important character in this drama. Frankie alerts outside the door, which means he signals to his handler that there's marijuana inside the house. Police then go back, get a search warrant, come back, they enter the home, they find marijuana, they also find Mr. Jardine trying to run out of the back of the home. He's prosecuted in state court. Now, the second actor in this drama is the house itself. This house had an alcove, a covered area of about six feet that would you, you would walk under and come to the front door. So the state argued Frankie, the drug dog, sniffing at the outside of the front door was not a search under the Fourth Amendment for the following reasons. One is Frankie only detected molecules outside of the house, in the outside air. He never went inside the house. His handler never went inside the house. Two, going to someone's front door is not like going into the house. Lots of people come to your front door. The newspaper carrier, the Girl Scout selling cookies. Three, Frankie didn't detect anything inside the house that the homeowner would have a reasonable interest of privacy in. Drug dogs only detect contraband, drugs and you have no reasonable expectation of privacy in keeping drugs anywhere, including your home. And so for those reasons, the state said that, look, the Supreme Court should rely on two cases in its past that said specifically a narcotics detection dog sniffing is never a search. And the state also makes a wide policy arg argument that says these dogs are used extensively they're used in airports, they're used in crowds, they're very effective law enforcement techniques, and they shouldn't be put under the command of the Fourth Amendment warrant requirement. The defendant came back and emphasized a different premise entirely. He said, no, 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 this is a house. The officer brought a dog to the house. No one expects that a narcotics detection dog is going to come up to my front door. Further, when the dog alerted, he in essence told his handler what was inside the house. And we know that our home is our highest zone of privacy where we should be free from the prying eyes of the state, or in this case, the prying nose. And also, the defense said, look, there's this medieval concept called the curtilage, the area around the house that's involved in the intimate activities of the house. The dog and his handler trespassed into this area without a warrant, and thus anything they obtained should be suppressed as fruit of the poisonous tree. Now the defendant's policy argument is, do you really want the police going through a neighborhood door by door with a narcotics detection dog sniffing at every door? So how will the court uh, approach this? Predictions are always very difficult, but if I was a betting man, knowing how useful dogs are in law enforcement, knowing that dogs have been used for over 100 years in law enforcement, and narcotics detection dogs have been used for 40 years, I don't think the, the court will take this tool away from law enforcement. Now, the court has to distinguish one case from the late 1990s. And in that case, drug enforcement agents shined a thermoimaging device on a home without a warrant and Justice Scalia said, no, 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 that's a search. You should have gotten a warrant because it can detect intimate activities in the home, such as the lady of the house taking her sauna. Frankie the drug dog couldn't do that. So that's a basis for the court to d distinguish that, the thermal imaging case, and find that a, a drug dog alerting is still not a search. However, I think members of the court will be very uncomfortable with the specter of officers going to door to door in a neighborhood, just having their dog sniff every door. Thus, I think the court might craft a test 
that says before you bring the dog to the door, you have to have a reasonable and articulable suspicion that there is contraband inside the home.